Hey guys, Jess here from The Sewing Rabbit. I wanted to talk to you today about one of my favorite winter textiles to work with. Fur! Now fur is a lot of fun in the winter because it starts to come in some great, fun, vibrant colors at your local fabric store. But it tends to scare a lot of people off because the mess that it can make. Um, I like to call it a fur explosion. If you're not careful, it'll be everywhere in your house. Uh, but over the years, as I've worked with fur more and more, I've kind of come up with some tips and tricks that help minimize the mess and help make fur something still that's a lot of fun to work with um, and that you'll love the result, but you won't be cleaning up for hours on end or finding fur everywhere for the next week. So here are some tips of things that I have when it comes to sewing with fur that will help minimize the mess and still keep it a fun textile for you to sew with. Let's talk fur. Whenever you're sewing with fur, it's very important to know the grain of your fabric or the direction the fur is going. You're going to place your pattern piece on the back of your fur with the fur going in the direction you want it to go and then trace around your pattern. Prior to cutting any of your pattern pieces, you're going to take your hand and just move the fur out of the way of the cutting pad. This will help you cut less fur as well as help the fur hang nicely over your seam when you're finished sewing. So just take your hand, move the fur out of the direction of where you're cutting and continue cutting your pattern piece. And whenever I'm done cutting any fur pattern pieces, I like to pick up those pattern pieces, pick up any remaining excess fur, bring them outside and give them a real good shake. Shaking off your fur is probably the most important step followed closely by wiping off your space in between each step. This will help the fur stay contained and you won't be moving it throughout the house with you um, by continuing to clean it up. And vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. Every seamstress who has ever sewed with fur before knows how important the vacuum is. I also like to gently pull at my seams. Um, this is going to remove excess fur that would have been um, getting everywhere while I'm sewing, but it kind of helps me take care of it now prior to um, me getting to the machine. If I've noticed that I've had a step where a lot of fur is on my machine, I will wipe down my machine in between that step. That way loose fur doesn't get on my other fabrics. And always when I'm done, I love to give my projects a good shake. I kind of pull at the sides and this just removes any excess fur that wants to get around my house. Wipe clean vacuum. By doing these steps, it really does help keep the fur down. And my office is as good as clean again. Sewing with fur doesn't have to be difficult. It is messy, but if you stay on top of it while you're sewing and you put just a couple of quick tips and tricks in place, then sewing with fur can be fun and you'll have some really super cute projects when you're done. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and talk soon. Bye.